This is Film Masters, and on today's episode, we're making a hyperdrive from Star Wars. It's gonna look something like this. <laughs> Punch it, Chewie! Now down below, in the project area, is a downloadable pack. It contains a galaxy, it contains the inside of the Falcon, it contains sound samples, um, it also contains the After Effects file, so that you can be lazy if you really want to and just simply load that into After Effects and play around, tweak with it add yourself into it and so forth, or you can follow along and watch how it's made. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first, let's go up to composition, new composition, I'm gonna call this hyperspace, I'm gonna leave it at HDTV, 1080, 24 frames a second. And I'm gonna drop it down to five seconds because the clip's only gonna be five seconds and that's all we need. Select okay and next, I'm just gonna open up the download pack. Let's grab the Falcon PSD and Galaxy and uh, import them. Next, we're gonna grab the Galaxy and drop that on the timeline. And then the Falcon cockpit on top. Now let's switch the cockpit off so we don't see that. And then we're gonna go up to layer, new solid. Then we're gonna make sure that the uh, layer is pure white. Select okay, make sure it's the uh, composition size. And we're gonna rename this solid stars. Select okay. Next thing we're gonna do with the star solid is drop it down in between the other two items on the project line. Then with the star solid selected, let's go up to effects, simulation, and select CC star burst. Now, if I play the clip, you'll see that the stars move quickly towards the screen. So let's make some changes to the values. So let's change the speed to 0 0.03. And then we're gonna change the size to 23. Now let's play that. So you can see smaller stars are moving towards the viewer. Now let's add the next effect. Let's go effects, time, and echo. And Echo is going to give us those nice streaks in our stars, but let's change the decay to five. And then if I go in there and change the number of echoes to 650, the example we're gonna get looks like this. So let's drop the uh, number of echoes down to zero. And then we're gonna go down and select the galaxy background. And then go to effect and generate, and we're gonna select CC light rays 2.5. So this applies a nice light rays filter to our background. So first of all, let's go to intensity and uh, enter 500 as a value. And that's going to lighten it up and uh, really push those rays out. Then we're gonna drop the ray length down to zero. So it's back to the original. Now the next thing you wanna do is move forward on the timeline a few frames or when you wanna start the hyperspace jump. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna move it in probably about uh, 10 frames. Then stop. Now this is where the animation begins. So let's go up to ray length and set a keyframe. And then we're gonna move forward 40 frames. So let's move 40 frames on the timeline. And once we've got to that, we'll change the ray length to 50. And once we've done that, we're gonna duplicate the layer. So control D, and we're gonna place that above the stars solid and change the intensity to 100. Next thing we're gonna do is change the blending mode to add, and we get this nice bright effect. Now let's turn off those two galaxy layers so we don't have to see them. So now we're gonna move 10 frames forward on the timeline. So I'm using the page up, page down key. So page down moves it forward on the timeline. So I'm gonna move it 10. And then I'm gonna change the number of echoes to 650. So once I do that, we'll get our streaks in place. 
set a keyframe. Now I'm gonna move back on the timeline, 50 frames. Now I'm gonna turn the layer off so it's quicker when I'm doing it. And that way there is no lag and I'm using the page up to go backwards on the timeline. Once I've done that, I'll turn it back on again and change the number of echoes to zero. And that's our start point for the animation. So it assists me as well uh, in uh, rendering. I'm gonna cut down the amount of the workspace. I'm gonna go down to the last frame of the effect and press N on the keyboard so that when I render this out, we'll be able to see only the effect that we're working on. Now I'll just jump to the end frame and I'll turn the effects that we've done so far on just so you can see what the uh, end result looks like at the moment. Now there's one thing that we need to add and that's obviously a blue, blue transparency. So let's go to layer, new, solid. Let's make it a blue color. As we enter hyperspace, it goes blue. All the stars start turning blue and then it goes into that blue vortex tunnel. I'm just gonna call this blue layer, select okay. I'm gonna put this on the timeline or the composition timeline, just under the Falcon cockpit. Now I want this layer to be transparent about halfway in between when the effect starts with the stars. So I'm gonna open up the stars solid just so I can see where the keyframes are. And I'm gonna put it about halfway in between those two keyframes. Set a keyframe. Now I'm gonna jump just in front of the stars keyframe, just a few frames in and set the opacity to zero. Now we're gonna change the transfer mode to color dodge. Once we've done that, I'm gonna clean up the timeline by closing all the widgets on the effects. Then I'm gonna turn on the Falcon cockpit. Then I'm gonna run a RAM preview. So let's have a look at the end result. So what we have is the finished result. I'm pretty happy with that. So all you need to do now is render it out, control M and save it at whatever video format that you want. Now, if you wanna become a film master sub, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.